So, the point in all of this, right, is that we are co-creators of our own circumstance. We, it's our responsibility to accentuate the positive, right? None of you have ever come back from holiday from Cancun with your luxury sombrero and your maracas and gone straight to someone's funeral, have you? La, 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 la. Oh, I know, it is a shame. Look at the tan. Look at, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen, does it? It's not the sort of thing that we have, right? Um, but we're very good at focusing on the bad stuff. So it's our responsibility. If you want to see anything different in terms of your own behavior or someone else's, if you want to see and embrace seismic change in organizations or in your own close-knit teams, we've got to accentuate the positive things that happen. The bad stuff looks after itself. It has a great physiological effect on our body. The good stuff just goes away real quick. So that's kind of lesson number one. Make sense? Yes, Jez. All right. The second thing, let's get to some of the sexy stuff, right? Because we've heard a little bit today, or you've heard a little bit, I've been stood there for a while, and I've been hearing as well about future opportunities, and that always excites me, that phrase. Mm. Not as much as free ice cream, but it still does <laughs> excite me. There are three questions, or two questions, and one sort of uh, incidental um, thing that we need to be considerate of. Please be quiet. The <laughs> first thing... <laughs> irritating. The first thing <laughs> that we need to be aware of is that... We often don't see change if we don't understand why we're doing something, right? Um, and that's fundamentally because we need to understand why it is that we're going to do something differently, or, or you need to tell somebody else why they need to do something different. So let's just talk real quick, like 20 seconds on comfort zones, because it annoys me when people say, oh, you know, can we talk a little bit about comfort zones? Let's talk about how to, you know, how do we, you know, manage them or whatever. The comfort zones, you created the comfort zones, right? All the things you like in your life, all of your sort of values and boundaries, you created them. No one else said you will like this to this extent. And at this point, you will get angry. OK, right. That's you. All right. Next. All right. Now, Maureen, um, you're going to hate broccoli. Um, absolutely no time for time wasters, but uh, controversially, you will also like a, a mild bit of racism, all right? Off you go. Nobody did that, right? You decided that you don't like, you know, the curtains drawn first thing in the morning. You like to slowly wake up. You decided that you, I don't know, don't like people shouting in restaurants. Our comfort zones, by definition, we created, right? And so therefore, you have the ability to move them a bit this way, or move them a bit this way. You can move that one that way and this one this way. You can do whatever you want. They are yours. Mr. Rogers' sole um, kind of purpose as a TV presenter was to encourage children to ask the right questions and to encourage adults to have the right answers. But this was during a period of quite heightened racial tension in the States. The guy on the right here is a guy called Francoise Clemens. He was the first black actor to be on children's television. And America went absolutely nuts. They could not handle it. He played a police officer. There he is, Officer Clemens. And calmly and gently, Fred responded to a question that children needed to ask because adults weren't doing it properly. Because the week that this television show appeared, two white male friends decided to go swimming with two black female friends in a hotel swimming pool to prove a point. Because they didn't see any problem with that, because they loved each other and we're both human beings and the wonderful tapestry of life exists because of our differences. But there was a sign next to the hotel swimming pool that said whites only. So the manager came out and poured bleach and cleaning materials into the pool. It created a massive furore and made headline news. What does this guy do? He has an incredible responsibility as the only children's television presenter at the time. So he was seen at the beginning of the show in this paddling pool, spraying his feet, saying, gosh, it's really hot today. I'm just having some time to cool off. In walks Officer Clemens. He says, oh, Officer Clemens, come and join me. Take your seat, cool your feet. Officer Clemens says, Fred, I'd love to, but I can't. I don't have a towel. He says, oh, don't worry about that. You can borrow mine. So they sit with their, sli with their trousers rolled up, chatting about all sorts of other things apart from the incident. And at the very end, when he's ready to go, Officer Clemens says, you know what, I probably should make a move now. And Fred hands him his towel, he dries his feet, puts on his shoes and his boots and his uh, socks and walks off. And then Fred dries his own feet with the same towel. Nothing more needed to be said. This, for me, I think is one of the most iconic and important pieces of television, probably in both the 20 and 21st centuries. Fred Rogers encouraged us to ask the right questions because change of any kind begins and ends with us.